what have you always done, but later found out was gross. All my life I wiped my toothbrush on the hand towel to dry it up until my sister asked what the fuck I was doing. Not washing behind ears. When I was like 5 or 6 years old I would love going to the grocery store with my mom because the vegetable and fruit and meat tables always had the best ice to chew on. As a child I would dig up bits of clay from the local sandbox. It wasn't as good as play dough, so I would cast it aside and continue digging. Maybe I didn't have a very good sense of smell at that age, because I was well into adulthood before I realized it was probably cat shit. Looks like the better question would have been. How often do you change your bed sheets? I flushed my tampons my whole life until I was about 30. No one had taught me they weren't flushable. I stupidly thought they were like toilet paper. One expensive and embarrassing plumbing problem later, I never did it again. Showered in a dirty tub. Once I discovered how gross it really was, my hoarder mother didn't like it when I cleaned the bathroom, so I just lived with it till I was able to get a place. I pick my nose privately then wash my hands. I just can't deal with a clogged nose my fingers work better than a tissue ever could. Chewing on fingernails. Haven't done it in decades but once upon a time. Not washing newly purchased clothing items. After reading these comments I have realized I'm just a disgusting human being. Wait until a towel smelled weird to swap it out. I use my earring to scrape out the muck from under my nails then put the earring back in my ear. Used to pluck my eyebrows on public transport. So sorry to anyone who got those sticky little living hair follicles stuck to their clothes and skin. I didn't used to close the lid on the toilet before flushing. Oh the sharticles. Eating snow, just take the same handful of snow you might see a kid stuff in their mouth and let it melt in a glass. Bet you wouldn't willingly drink it. I love to eat the crispy, crunchy white yucca flowers from my yard. I ate them for years before discovering there are tiny little white waxy worms that live in the flowers and blend in. I eat other bugs and worms and stuff, but not raw, so I started to wash them out of the flowers before I ate them. I learned the flowers are nowhere near as nutty and crunchy and delicious without the worms, so now I leave them in. I sit on my couch butt naked when I'm alone watching TV at night. I mean I'm relatively clean but I feel sorry for anyone else that sits there. I'm suffering from hair loss at the moment and I'm often absent-mindedly raking a hand through my long hair, glancing at what comes out and then dropping the strands on the floor. Just read on another sub that that's pretty disgusting to other people. I my own defense, I work exclusively from home in my own small office and would never do it in public, but even so maybe my husband thinks I'm gross. I was taught to wash my sheets once a month. Realized you're supposed to do it way more. Put eggshells back in the carton. Didn't know it was gross because I saw my mother always do it. I can't believe it took my until last year to realize the error of my ways. Damn redditors are gross. Left dishes out in my room. Until I got freaked out at seeing ants everywhere, then I always put away dishes after finishing. That meme where they guys scrubbing his crack with the bar of soap. I did that until a girlfriend caught me in my late twenties. Not me, but my ex would always flush mid pee. I never understood it and found it repulsive. If his pee lasted longer than the flush, he would just flush again. Whenever I would ask why he does that, he just said he's always done it. All I could think of is how much stuff would fly up on his hands and genitals. Even after showing him countless studies about what flies up when a toilet flushes, he would never stop that weird habit. I'm surprised to not see this here wearing shoes inside. My family was not a shoes off family and they always wore outside shoes inside. I remember a few friends homes were strict shoes off homes, but I thought that was the minority. I was about 27 years old before I realized it was disgusting and people were definitely judging my etiquette. 
I am 66 yo and only learned a week ago that you are supposed to floss first then brush your teeth I saw something on reddit about this I asked my family three adult kids husband. They all knew to floss first, brush second why didn't anyone tell me? They just thought what I did was weird but never mentioned it. I was in my late teens before I learned you're supposed to wipe front to back not back to front. I was like damn and started doing it the right way. I could never get a good clean front to back. I figured I just needed practice but I did it for 6 months and it never improved. I went back to the way I've always done it. I've never had a yeast infection or UTI. I'd c how far you guys are wiping but I don't have an issue keeping the shit out of vagina. I used to take shits, would wipe for a bit, but if it was taking too long I would just stuff a wad of TP in my butt crack and deal with it later. Edit running late this morning, might have to wad it up today. Pee in the shower, shave over the toilet, let my dogs sleep in the bed with me. I still do it, but I've been told those are all gross. I chewed with my mouth open for decades. Using a loofah because you don't wash it like washcloths. As a young child, I didn't understand that as a female, we have to wipe for sanitary reasons. I felt that it was just another unfair stipulation imposed on my gender at the ripe age of, maybe five? So I refused to wipe when I peed because boys didn't have to. Double dipping snacks. Pretty logical but only found out recently that's very bad etiquette. Sharing a bar of soap with my husband. I thought it was normal until it came up in my mom group. If we are going to bump uglies, we can definitely share soap. I don't care if it's gross, we only have one soap holder, woozy face. Never take out my contact lenses.